Hi everybody, it's Mom D. Welcome back to my channel, Mom D Reacts, and we are on episode 8 of the first season of The Haunting of Hill House. And this one is uh, Witness Marks. And it says, a familiar terror revisits Shirley and Theo on Halloween night as Hugh and Steve go looking for Luke, who disappeared on a deadly errand. So here we go. I'm sure I'll be jumping. The question is how aggressive do you want to be? Very aggressive. We don't want to lose any more time. We've been trying for two years and four months. Uh, I have the app monitoring ovulation, taking temperature and mucus levels. We've been uh, planning and pacing intercourse. It's very romantic. So we're looking at IUI or IVF. IUI is the least invasive. And outpatient. IUI. Can you read the thing? I told you to read the thing. Intrauterine insemination. The sperm are injected directly into the uterus. And yes, it's outpatient. Let's start there. You're 39, Stephen? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll test your sperm for count and motility percentage and... Oh, that sounds fair. <laughs> All right. So, Stephen, when can we schedule your tests? Ooh, which test? A blood panel for chromosomal diagnosis. A sample of your semen. When did you last ejaculate? A week. Maybe less. No, it's two weeks. I... <laughs> Who the hell oh, is that? Honey. <laughs> That's his mom? We gotta talk. We can fix this. No, I don't want to cancel it. I just want a, a usage alert. So you'll text me next time it's used? Okay, thanks. He hasn't used the credit card yet. They're going to send me an alert, and he does. He didn't have to break the house. Oh, I don't think he did. Me neither. Me neither. Do you want to ask you what you think, Theodora? Ooh. Sorry. I mean that suicides can cluster in families, especially twins. If they lose a twin, the odds go up. We're really not going to tell them what we saw. We go on our way. I just want to help. I just want to help. Look, bud, I, I know you do, but I'm going to start using some really strong chemicals down here. It just isn't safe. Anyway, I know it's not the most exciting thing, but I could really use your help watching your brother and your sisters while she's away. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Mom? What do you mean, sweetheart? Of course you're safe with me. Mom! <gasps> no, she's Where tripping. the twins? Downstairs. Of course. Are you sure? I'm fine, sweetie. I'm fine. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? What's going on with you and Lee? What do you mean? Well, I mean, how's your marriage? <laughs> You're kidding, right? You're not living at home, and I, I couldn't help but notice at the funeral. You me. aren't seriously doing well, this. Yeah, I am. I, I, Jesus okay, I wasn't Christ, Dad, you're out of line. You know we separated, didn't you? you? You didn't know that, probably. Briefly, we separated. You were one year old. Mm -hmm. Stupidest thing I ever did. From that moment on, we were on the same team. Yeah, I mean, we still fought sometimes, but it was, it was different. We fought with love. She she taught me that. Hey, can we talk when I get back? How? You'll be back at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sure. She gonna make you suffer, dude. <laughs> Sorry, no candy here. Yeah, the lights off. Yeah, but your lights in the house are on. It makes it look like you're there. I did, I, I did to protect us. us. I know. Yeah, just like you protected Mom. Ooh. Here we go. I 
I saw the police reports. Her skull cracked like a melon. <laughs> and she hit the what desk. Is this there was blood all over the library carpet. There were bruises on her upper arms because someone grabbed her pretty hard. Okay, Steve. And a contusion on the back of her head from being shoved into a wall. And she threw herself off the goddamn staircase, and that was your best? Yeah, all right, well, she Whoa. should not have been left alone in the house. Not the house. Absolutely it wasn't not the house. house. She was sick. She was sick in her mind, and the one person, one person that was supposed to take care of her didn't do a goddamn thing to get her help. I do know where some paint is. I thought so. This must have been puppies. Poppy? Poppy Hill. She was William's wife. She was insane. Yeah, she looks kind of wild. <laughs> no, I mean clinically. So was he. They met in the mental institution. Oh, they fell Lord. in love in an asylum. She was insane. She's seeing ghosts too, but who is he? What the fuck do you want? Um, uh, I was just uh, coming to apologize. I just need you to Ooh. know that it wasn't Kevin's fault and he didn't Don't do anything. Don't fucking dare defend my husband. All of us, all of us are just always helping you keep up this idea in your head that you're perfect Shirley and we're just a bunch of up perfect Shirley's perfect fucking life. Ah! Whoa! No! You do not just get to shut me out of your life. Oh! <laughs> Did you just punch me in the boob? <laughs> you get punched in the fucking boob, <laughs> and you get evicted from my fucking house. Whoa! 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 Ain't nothing out there that you want to see. It's a ghost. Oh shit. They're at the window. Crap. Oh god. I got a hit. He used the card. At a gas station. 202, just east of Amherst. I'm saying if he's stopping in Amherst, he's heading. Shirley, to listen to me. You're going to stay put. You hear me? Tell them what happened. We all do. Nell was delusional, depressed. Luke's an addict. Shirley is a control freak. And Theo is basically a clenched fist with hair. <laughs> the whole fucking family is on the brink of a breakdown and seeing things that aren't there, hearing things that aren't there. And that shit happened after the house. It's not the house. There's something wrong with our goddamn brains. So yeah, I'm never having children. I made sure. Second. <gasps> and he didn't tell his right wife? Out of college. Oh, sweet Jesus. And it was the right call, believe me, because if I ever doubted it, some of the bullshit I've been hallucinating this week. You ain't been hallucinating nothing. You really did. Yep. And yep. you didn't tell your wife. You did this. I, this is beautiful. You did this by yourself. I thought I might cheer you up. This is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Oh, Jesus. Mom? <laughs> Damn! Green mm -hmm. That's right. And then he filled up some cans, like five cans. Five cans, you say? Ooh, he's gonna burn down the house. Oh my god. Do 
kill himself. He's going to burn the house down. Well, yep. That's a relief. He's in more danger now than he's ever been. Yeah. And if he tries to burn it, it will defend itself. <laughs> you really didn't hear a word I said. Yeah, I did. Now you're going to listen to me. Oh, there you go, Pop. There There's you go. There's a lot you don't know. Exactly. Our family is like an unfinished meal to that house. And your brother is walking right back into... Mm -hmm. That house is the most dangerous place in the world for all of us. About the vanity and, and why you did it. Mm -hmm. You found the vanity in the game room. Mm -hmm. And you walked by the man repairing the clock. And then mm -hmm. you saw your mother looking into the twins' room, staring at their empty beds. Textbook dissociative episode. She was not well. No, no, not her. The man repairing the clock. Ooh. What about him? Do you know what witness marks are? Your scars. Little marks inside the clock, scrapes, lines, divots from tools, gears, pieces removed from the clock. They're basically evidence of repairs that have been done to the clock and, and what the clock was. And with antique clocks, you almost never have a repair record, so you have to learn how to read the witness marks. So you... I had that clock evaluated by a professional before we even moved into the house. The clock hadn't been touched since the 60s. You hired a slew of workers toward the end. Not for that clock, I did. Uh -uh. No, no one touched that clock. There was no man there, and certainly not one in old overalls with a handlebar mustache. That man wasn't there. That was a ghost? You probably just forgot. Yeah, you think you're, you're writing about your crazy mom, your crazy brother, and scary faces in the treehouse. You see the marks, but you don't know how to read them. Mm-hmm. I never built you kids a treehouse. What? What? Luke was in there all the time. I used to go fetch him for there dinner. I flipping at the house. We were going to be there maybe eight weeks. How would I even have the time to build you kids a goddamn treehouse? Maybe he was already there. There was no treehouse. Wow. And I'm very sorry you have to be taking all this in right now, but you have to. Do you understand me? You have to because your, your brother's life depends on it. And that house is the most dangerous place in the world for all of us. Right. And that's why I told your sisters to stay put. Which they're probably not going to do. I think they will. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you. Forget I asked. You just don't know what I'm dealing with. We've all been dealing, and, and we somehow managed not to try to fuck each other's Hey, spouses. that's not what this was about. It just isn't. So, I don't want to tell you. She never I I'm trying to tell you. I don't you. need to hear your Excuses. I'm not making excuses. Bullshit. I saw. Ah! Oh, sweet Jesus in heaven. Oh, my God. <gasps> Lord, have mercy. Whoa. Whoa. Good Lord in heaven. Oh, my God. Ooh. That came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. See that, Shirley? Do you fucking believe that? Nothing until I couldn't feel anything anymore. I was just this dark, empty black hole. And I tried to fill it up. I tried to fill me back up. And I called Trish and she came right away and I felt nothing. And then I tried to mourn at the wake and I felt nothing. And so I drank and I drank and nothing worked. I couldn't feel anything, Shirley, after I touched her skin. I couldn't feel anything. And I wonder if this is it, if this is what death is, just out there in the darkness, just darkness and numbness and alone. And then the lights came on and there he was and I, I didn't see him. I didn't see him. He was a light in the darkness. He was a, a life preserver in the ocean. I just, I reached for him because I had to feel something. I had to feel anything. I didn't see him. I didn't. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. And he stopped me. He stopped me. He took my hands and he said no. And then I saw him. And then you walked in. There. Mm -hmm. Scared. I felt so fucking scared that Aww. I was going to lose the only sister that I had left. Yeah. And I, I, I had to do it because it felt better than nothing. I was going to say, please don't walk away from her. God. Is the light gonna go on twice? Oh.
Ooh. It won't allow you to destroy it. That's creepy. That's really creepy. Wow. Oh, God. Is that Nell? Or his mama? That's his mama. Oh, shit. That's it? That's it? Oh, Jesus. So that's that poppy chick, right? Wow. That scared the living piss on me. Ooh, and now came through between there. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I thought I was going to lose my bladder. Ooh. All right, let's get on to the next one. We only got two more left. This is really a good show. Man, Steve got a mastectomy. Can you believe that? Man, oh man, oh man. Wow. And didn't tell his wife. Now, I wonder if he's told his wife now. Is that why she left him or he kicked him out? Whew. Wow. So let's get on to the next episode and see what happens. I can't wait to see the finale of this show. All right. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I kind of did a little um, research on my channel, looking at the uh, numbers, and 75% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So I could get to my goal a lot faster if you guys would subscribe. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost anything. I don't come to your house. I don't send you emails. I don't, you know, pester you anything at all. You just subscribe. If you want to click the little bell, it just sends you a notification when there's a new video. It's not hard, it's not painful, and it would really help me. So I'm begging, please sign up as a subscriber. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.